We are hanging out with paint expert Brianna. And what sort of tips do you have for people for spring for changing up your home inside? Well, since <laughs> it's not really good weather outside yes. yet, uh, it's great to start inside. And mm -hmm. what we have today is we've got a product called Cabinet Transformations. Okay. And I'm going to show you how you can redo your cabinets the easy way. Nice, easy way. Okay, so and this is no sanding or anything like that. No sanding, no priming, just a little bit of prep and then away you go. Perfect. And everything is in the container. Is okay, in the so kit. what is the process? Okay, well, first of all, you take your cabinets. Yep. So it was this, this is, color? Yeah. It was this color. We've taken the door off of the cabinet and you start with just your bare cabinet. Mm -hmm. And what you're going to do is you're going to take this is the deglosser. You put some of that on your scouring pad mm -hmm. and you would go in the direction of the grain and what you're doing is you're cutting the gloss or any grime that's on the cabinet and you're getting it ready so that you can paint it. All okay, right. So that's step one. And then step two is we get this uh, base coat and you get it tinted to a color that is indicated on the top of the box, whichever color you want. Great. And that is what's going to transform your cabinet. Okay. In this case, I have chosen the color vintage. So that's here? That's this, okay. All right. What we do is we do a first, this is your first coat, okay, and you can see that it kind of shows a little bit of this color underneath. But you don't need to prime, you don't need to sand. All you've done is just cleaned it, and then you put your first coat on with a brush, and you would go in the direction of the grain, mm -hmm. straight strokes. And then when you come to the bottom header or the top header, you would go in the direction of the grain again, okay? All right. So that's all you have to do for step, step two. Okay, now this has been done. This is step three, okay? And that's doing this coat one more time. So that's all you have to do there, okay? Now you can leave it at this stage and then just uh, put your fourth coat, which is a top coat, and that's a protective coating, mm -hmm. so it doesn't scratch off. Or you can go on to another stage and you can distress this to make it look like it's older um, and also give it some highlighting, okay? And I'm going to get you to demonstrate okay. that. Okay. Okay. Right. So this is the, <laughs> okay. this is the glaze. Mm -hmm. And you're going to go in the direction of the grain. Right. Okay. And you apply it on and try to get some in the crack here so we can oh, show sure. what's going to happen. All right, so we've glossed here. Now, okay. what else okay. do you do? And then here? we're going to take this cheesecloth and we're going to wipe it off. And it's going to give us a nice distressed look. Oh, nice. Okay. You do it in the direction of the grain and you leave some in the cracks and then you get that darker look. So you can have it either solid or you can have it look like it's wood grain. Nice. Okay. Well, that was fairly easy. Very easy. <laughs> Now behind us we have some lovely colored panels here. So how did you get such a nice line? Okay, well we have a product here called Frog Tape. Okay, and with the Frog Tape, we just take the tape. I've already made a line, mm -hmm. and I'm going to apply the tape. Um, and if you pull the tape tight, it'll create a straight edge for you. Oh, I'll say that again. It creates a straight edge, and then we're going to just take some paint here. All right. Put a little bit on my brush, and I paint right over top of the tape. Okay. And when I take the tape off, you'll get a nice crisp line, and it'll look like a very professional job ah. in very little time, which is the key thing, right? Because everybody has got very little time nowadays. Exactly. Okay. So there we go, and I can even take the tape off immediately, like I'm going to show you. Sure. And voila. Ah. Okay. You get a pretty straight line. Good line. Okay. <laughs> nice line. Now these are some great colors here. Now yes. you've also um, done some patterns here as well. Yes. So how did you do this with okay. the tape as well? Did the same thing. Yeah, I put the mm -hmm. tape on and in different stages, and then we apply the, the different colors. First, you do a base coat. I did the blue, which you can see here, mm -hmm. and then I just block it out and do the different colors at the different times. Let it dry. Take the tape. Put new tape on. In, in the design that you want it to be in. This technique and that technique you can find on homedepot.ca and look at our dream book and everything is on there. We have several different types of paint techniques. It'll help you be the professional you want to be, exactly. hey? <laughs> Jazz up your house in no time. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. There thank you go. You. Some great tips for springing up your home.